Hello there, my Pisces Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Oh, what's going on, Pisces? Eight of Cups to the Tower. Ooh. Stay unfazed, stay unaffected, Pisces. Tell me you are avoiding that tower. Nine of uh, Wands with the Strength card. Trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition right now. Ooh. Five of Swords, Ten of Swords. Ah. Uh, damn. You're leaving someone confused and confounded here while you're like fucking Ten of Swords energy. So be mindful of who or what you tap the fuck into. Stay grounded, stay focused. Ooh, someone around you is going through some shit, Pisces. This is like a spiritual awakening. Five of Cups. Covering the Five of Cups is the Two of Wands. Yeah, you're being guided. That Ace of Pentacles energy. But you got to stay tuned in. You got to stay grounded. Okay, so we got Queen of Wands. Nine of Swords. Three of Swords. With the Four of Swords. Crowning that, we got the Eight of Swords and the Capricorn energy. So, some of you, that's that sort of Five of Swords energy. Because you're Ten of Swords, so you're unaffected by this. But Lord have mercy, someone else is going through it. Pisces, so don't tap into this energy. Say your prayers and move the fuck on. Trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. Get out of your emotions right now. You're chasing that Pentacle energy. Judgment, you got the moon, you got the eight of pentacles, you got the king of wands, and you got the ace of cups, or king of cups. Covering that, you got the two of pentacles. Oh, so you're able to navigate in this energy. You definitely have some sort of guidance around you, Pisces. Lighting the way. Lighting your way. Trusting your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. That's like the two of swords energy as well. It's keeping you from this dark-ass energy around you, Pisces. So, whoever the hell that is in your energy, right? You need to tap the fuck out of that. Stay focused, stay grounded. The Capricorn energy isn't scary. A lot of you are used to dealing with that. So, you're, yeah, angel on your right, devil on your left, you're good. You're trusting your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. You've done your shadow work. So you're not manipulated. You're not a manipulating type of energy. You definitely got a good guidance system here with this King of Cups and this King of Wands. Chariot and the Scorpio energy. Yeah, Archangel Michael, if you're a praying person. Yeah, Six of Cups. With the Five of Wands. You're overcoming a lot of obstacles. Yes. But well, you've had guidance in this. Um... The Hierophant, some of you have focused, maybe you found religion or some sort of balancing energy that keeps you grounded and focused. You definitely had a guidance energy. That King of Wands sort of lighting the way past this sort of darkness. Because that saying goes, if you're going through hell, keep on moving. Don't slow down if you're scared, don't show it. You might get out, for the devil even knows you're there. So you've been through it. You got the fuck out. I don't know, Pisces, if someone was following you or trying to follow you, they kind of got stuck. So don't tap into that energy. Okay, Pisces? Yeah. Ace of Cups, Four of Cups, the Two of Cups. Mmm. Mmm. Six of Cups energy. That's Six of Cups energy right there, though. You got a good guidance system. So trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition. Some of you could be a Scorpio energy. Yeah. Someone's cheering you on, but they're also telling you what to do. It's not like an understudy energy, but it's like someone who's helping guide you. That is almost a little bit Phantom of the Opera-ish, right? Christine Daye, let her sing for you, monsieur. She has been well taught. 
So trust your gut, your guidance, and your intuition on this. Damn, Pisces, whatever you came through, someone else is going right smack dab into it. You've had the Queen of Wands and the King of Wands energy right there. You got a good guidance system, though, so keep that up. Trust your gut, your intuition. Uh-oh, this could be a person or some of you just trusting it. The worst is behind you, uh, Pisces. I wanted to say Scorpio, so some of you could have a Scorpio who's kind of uh, helping you out. Navigate the emotional side of things. Pisces, there could be a Scorpio that you're watching. I feel like there's a Scorpio energy that's giving you guidance. Ooh. Sort of blocking any negative energy from you. So you got like an Earth Angel energy around you, Pisces. There's that reciprocity. We kept seeing Libra's energy. Page of Wands to the Four of Cups. Ten of Swords, Gemini energy, High Priestess energy, with the Eight of Cups. The Lord have mercy. Covering that is the Two of Cups. Star energy here. Those two are interswitchable. Trust your gut, your guidance, your intuition. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands. Some of you stay active to burn off any of that sort of negative energy. Kind of keep you in a higher uh, um, vibration, right? Shake it off. Shake it off. You're not getting overwhelmed. That's, that's the point here, Pisces. You don't get overwhelmed. You're not getting overwhelmed. But there are energies around you that's in that sort of overwhelmed energy, Pisces. You're this creative energy. Empress, the sun, page of pentacles, and the moon card. So your emotions are grounded. Um, damn. Six of pentacles, four of pentacles, the will of fortune energy to the ten of pentacles energy. Yeah, keep your emotions grounded and that helps bring in this pentacle energy. You're like good. That's not overwhelming because you can, uh, it's like grounded energy. You notice she can see the bottom of that. So she could probably stand up if she wasn't a mermaid. Uh, so you're good. Heart chakra's looking good. You're feeling good. Strong energy here. Praying. Calling in positive energy. But that's that protective energy around you because you're grounded and you're focused. You're grounded and you're focused. That's what brings in all this beautiful pentacle energy for you, Pisces. If there's any manipulation around you, it's not working. It's not working. Uh, Pisces, it's like that song. If you're going through hell, keep on moving, right? But if someone was following you, <laughs> they kind of got stuck. Empress and the Four of Wands. Focusing on you. Education, higher learning, opportunity. Ten of Cups. Happiness, finding your happy place, good work opportunities. The pentacles come in as soon as you focus on those emotions, Pisces. And you don't get overwhelmed. 
Yeah, you like free as a bird. I'm like a bird, only fly away. I don't know where my home is. I don't know where my soul is. Three, six, here we go. Good opportunities. Staying focused and staying grounded. Yeah. You're navigating them cups. Yeah, some of you be mindful of the energy that you do tap into, okay? Don't drink the fucking Kool-Aid. Focused and grounded. This is that yin and yang energy too, because you had Queen of Pentacles before. Now you're in this King of Pentacles. So this is like that yin and yang, masculine, feminine energy. Covering all that's the Ace of Wands. You're in good manifesting energy. So be mindful. Some of you, something seems counterintuitive, but it actually works. Uh, you tapped into something. You got a good guidance energy around you. But looking at something different kind of made the difference. Stay focused in that energy because that's going to work out for you. Uh, Pisces, the Fool, the Two of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Hierophant. Hierophant, the Emperor. Yeah. Damn. Pisces, if someone was trailing you or trying to follow you, they kind of got stuck. If you're going through hell, keep on moving, don't slow down. If you're scared, don't show it, you might get out, for the devil even knows you're there. So I know you've been through it, Pisces. But now, you know, it's kind of reward season for you. Be mindful of the cups energy, emotions, who you tap into. Because you've got some fucked up energy around you. that You don't need to be tapping into that shit. Five of Swords. Allow it to go. This is like a karmic energy too. Things will be going your way, moving your way, Pisces, but you gotta stay kind of proactive in that energy. You got an emperor energy that's really going through something. So I don't know what the fuck this is in relation to you, the emperor, everything is fine, the hermit and the lovers. You do not need to tap into that fucking energy. The Hierophant. I don't know if you're a spiritual person, Pisces, but you've had guidance along the way. you got a good uh, guidance energy around you. So trust it. Stay focused, stay grounded. This is all about the pentacles energy. Now is not the time for relationships, partnerships, or for your emotions to kind of take control over you. You're sort of creating that uh, energy right there. You've got a guidance system, so trust it. Any opportunities to show your way, you're kind of able to uh, weed them out pretty good. What else do we have for Pisces? <laughs> Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. Some of you have a Scorpio energy around you. You're good. Tap into that Ace of Cups. You're emotional, but you're sort of proactive. It's all about you energy. Guidance energy. Yeah. You really don't have to put that much time, energy, and effort into something either. So be gentle on yourself. Be gentle on yourself. Be gentle on yourself. That yin and yang. Emperor, Empress energy. You got someone watching. Oh, well. We got Ten of Swords, King of Wands, Scorpio energy. 
with the three of wands. Chariot energy. Mm. You're good, Pisces. Keep moving forward in a positive energy. Be gentle on yourself. Be kind to yourself. You got this. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ring a ring. Oh, Pisces, good luck, God bless.